Beer review time coming at you live again from uh, my home. We're flying to Bangkok today for Seabrew. That's today. By the time you see this, I will be in Bangkok. Unless you're watching it years from now, then I'll probably be back in Saigon. God willing. My home sweet home. Hey, listen. It's going to be a big conference. going to be a big weekend doing Seabrew Live. Again, first time post-COVID. We're doing it in person. Shout out to Charles Garrier for organizing and looking forward to seeing a lot of people who I haven't seen in a while. We're going to do a lot of beer reviews. Listen, we're doing a beer review right now. This is the second and last of the uh, John Aspen beers. Thanks, John, for bringing a couple beers back from Australia. Both from Little Bang... Oh, no, no, no. The other one was uh, Uridla. This one's from Little Bang. I've had a few Little Bang beers before. Courtesy of Rod Quinton. Shout out to my guy, Rod Quinton. Um... I liked the Little Bang Sours a lot. There were some other Little Bangs that weren't as good as the other Little Bangs. Lots of Little Bangs. Little Bang Brewing Company. This one is Satanic Octopus Pleasure Hazy IPA. Kudos to the name. St. Stepney, South Australia, 25 Henry Street. Beer made in Australia. Keep cold. Vegan friendly. Who cares? It seems every day there's a news that Hazy IPA tinny on the market with a new name and new label. Sounds good to us, in parentheses. How about a few thousand more? This can of Hazy IPA is unique with a label and a name that no one else's Hazy IPA can has. It was created by algorithms designed by Little Bang, and it's yours and yours alone. The important thing is when you post this on the gram, you know you're the first one in the world to do so. Plus, you get a delicious beer. Today just keeps getting better. But what does that mean? There's no... This is the only label that's called, this is the only, this one can in the world with this label and this name. I don't know how that works from a logistics standpoint. I'm gonna do some research. Hit me in the comments if you got any uh, information about these uh, unique hazy IPAs from Little Bang Brewing Company. Shout out to Ollie Vanelli. If you know, you know. Nothing better than waking up, pouring yourself a nice, hazy IPA. Looks great. Dark straw on the color. You can't see it. There it is. Dark straw. Nice amount of haze. Still looks like beer, not juice. What do I always say about IPAs from Australia? Some of them hold up, some of them travel well, some of them don't. This smells fresh. Little bang! We do one sip, we give a score zero to ten, we try one a day until we try them all. Let's see what we got. One sip, everybody knows the rules. It's really good. So doing these beer reviews every day, it's forcing me to be uh, a little bit more uh, critical in my thinking than maybe I used to be with beers. So the first taste is like, oh, that's really good. And then it kind of settles on the finish. And I'm like, oh, I guess I should say something somewhat critical of the beer. Fuck that. Fuck the critics. Fuck the begrudgers. Fuck the naysayers. This is a really good beer. And I got to figure out what's going on with this uh, artwork. One sip, everybody knows, breakfast hazy IPA. Why not? See, the th and the thing is, I've been doing it so long, I know I've given out some scores that were improperly inflated. So sometimes I'll be having a beer, and I'm like, oh, I, I, I gotta rank this in, slot this in right around here. It's like a high eight. 
Then I remember some of the other high eights I did, and I'm like, this is better than that. This is much better than that. Easy IPAs for breakfast. Let's go. Satanic Octopus Pleasure, Little Bang Brewing Company. It's a 9.1. Oh. Go to Australia, go to Little Bang, go to Boat Rocker. Shout out to the good people at Little Bang Brewing Company. Ah. That's it. It's a 9.1. It's a fucking awesome, hazy, juicy IPA. Can't go wrong. That's a review.